Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everyone. And uh, welcome, welcome to today is Friday. It's happy Friday and I'm like happy to be here. Uh, I want to actually um, talk about uh, not being afraid of other people's opinions and uh, why I actually want to talk about because I see so much fear in other people, what other people think of them, what other people think of their work. You know, it goes also for our professional lives and also our personal lives. And uh, I just want to address this topic and welcome for everyone who um, know me and for those who doesn't, who don't. Um, uh, my name is Carmen Peutz and I'm an educator and a counselor of my modern adulthood uh, company where I actually help uh, people to discover their full potential, their life possibilities. Uh, I teach them how to develop healthy and lasting relationships and how to lead a happier adult life. And um, let's get started. Uh, just the other day I was talking with my neighbor and he was like explaining to me, you know, um, his uh, situation that happened, you know, a long time ago, but still I wanted to share it with you. He, he told me that, you know, one, one day he was um, uh, going through the parking lot and it was slippery because it was winter and um, he fell and he said you know Carmen the first thing that I did was look around and check around if n nobody saw me on the floor basically and I was like okay so this was the first thing that you look how you were on the floor and that nobody saw you and I was like, you didn't check if you are okay, if anything is broken, you know. And, you know, this got me thinking how we give an emphasis of other people's opinions before our own, how we feel, what we want. And we are so preoccupied with this um with this distraction that this actually held us back, you know, when we, when we want to move in life, when we want to, you know, change jobs, when we want to quit our job, when we want to quit our relationships, when we want to move to another city, you know, everything gathers, the whole family, don't do this, don't do that, you know. You know, our families do love us, and, you know, they, they say actually for, for their own selfish reasons, you know, don't go there, you know, because they, you know, they love us, but still, they actually don't know what's best for us, you know, we, we know what's best for us, because we know how we feel, no, nobody else knows. And um, I am also in a group uh, with uh, other special human beings uh, and uh, called uh, um, self love for breakfast and uh, we talk about a lot of you know stuff that it's going on in our lives and in personal and also in professional and you know you see so much fear in people it's it's really really actually sad how we fear the fear and not moving forward and I posted just the other day um, here and also on Instagram you know feel the fear but do it anyway or and do it anyway because it will bring us growth it will bring us progress it will bring us a happy happier state of mind because when you do something that makes you happy, you know, when you move forward, when you see your progress, you are a much happier and satisfied person. And when you are satisfied within you, 
then you know everything changes around around us our energy flows we are energetic and we are capable also giving more, much more to other people that's basically that's basically it and uh, I want to advise to you when you feel something that it's not right and aligned with you, you know, change it. Just today, I also saw a post from uh, Gary V on Instagram, and he posted for all the 40 and uh, above year old people. And because his friends were like asking him, Oh, Gary, should I change, you know, my my job? Should I change my profession because I'm not happy as a as a lawyer? And he said, yeah, I mean, you know, you have every second we we have that opportunity to change the course of our own life. And we should do something about it when we don't feel good in our skin. And Gary also said, you know, you're 40 and you're sexy. So, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 40, above 40 and I'm sexy. So, you know, and also this reminds me how, you know, the, the amazing author, Louis, uh, Louis Hay, um, she was actually in her 60s when she wrote her first book when she started her own publishing company. So it's never too late to make that change because I want for you is to be happy, to feel happy. But it also is, it goes something like this, you know, you, we can be inspired by other people, you know, like I am in, inspiring you right now or somebody else is inspiring me but it's on me to make that change, you know, to make that inspiration into motion, into action, and then also put that into the self-discipline, because you need to be self-disciplined to move forward, because if you do an action, you know, and then you quit, nothing happens, because nothing changes like that, like on a click. Um, I can also share uh, something that happened to me lately, you know, when I went also moving forward and also moving to out of my own comfort zone as well, you know, posting videos on Instagram, doing these lives, and, you know, it's, my company got, you know, something to show. It wasn't just posts, but it's me, my face, uh, presenting my own company. Who am I? People to see, you know, because you need to see something. You need to see somebody's work that you can trust and then work with them. Or just listen and be, you know, feeling better. And... Um, you know, I just took the 30-day challenge by by Greg Ballantyne posting one-minute videos in uh, on Instagram, and it, it was and it is a challenge because you know posting yourself going out out there and also just saying something that's valuable to people for one minute, and but you know I posted this like for now six or seven days and. Um, one of the videos I also posted on my, um, here on my Modern Adulthood page. And you know that I'm uh, contributing in a June edition for, um, uh, for Holistic Bliss uh, magazine. And the editor, Vanessa, asked me if she can share one of my videos. And this, this actually, it is an honor for me to be out there uh, that, that somebody shares something that you do, something that you put your work and your time into it. And, but that would not happen if I would maybe not took that challenge and move forward. So I'm, you see where I'm getting? Try to go out of the comfort zone. Try something new 
don't be afraid because there will always be people who won't like you who would be that naysayers oh she i don't i don't like her makeup i don't like her nails you know they will find something that they won't like but you will get also your your tribe the people who will love you who will listen to you and try to concentrate on that you know try to be of service to them and you know this is my advice to you just go out there and um, be yourself be authentic be generous be kind and work with integrity and bring value to the work that you do and this will show in you in your work and you will succeed and you will move forward and uh, be much closer to your to your destiny to your um, to your life purpose so I hope this was helpful to you I wish you a great Friday oh and one more thing on Monday I am doing uh, on Monday June 4th I'm doing a live interview with um, a Hopeton all-star Bailey on his channel uh, on the show called fix uh, it will it will be aired um, on uh, 10 p.m. UK time and 11 p.m. Central European time if you cannot uh, tune in so late <laughs> Um, I will post later on also on my page and you can and you can watch us later we will be talking about a social media platform how to use a social media platform for the good because we have this amazing tool it, it's incredible you know how we can connect with other people the message the messages and the work that we can contribute on this platform and it's so great that we can use it so why not use it for the good and not for the bad okay so join us and i wish you a happy happy friday uh happy weekend and